clicked on this video because you've seen a sus ass fucking thumbnail, right? Sus ass description, all that, everything sus. Well, you're fucking wrong and you're weird for clicking on it. But since you're fucking here, join the party. Zebra Shy! Back at it again with another fucking story time, even though I've never done a story time. Today we got the story for how I lost my fucking virginity. My virginity? My virginity, you Virgin Southern Virginia motherfucker. I lost my virginity, all right? So, if you were like me, which you probably weren't like me, you ain't getting, I don't get no bitches. I just had that, I was like, man, fuck it. So, you know, hold on, this is like the 100K special, so let me, let me get right from the store, right? you feel me? Still no cut edits, it might be cut edits, I don't 100% I don't know, I'm gonna see how long it goes. Cause y'all niggas know I'll be rambling. Okay, so boom. Let me give you the breakdown of what happened. I'm on MySpace, right? Back then, MySpace was a thing. On there, I used to do the shit. I fucking used to do the friend ad and shit. I think I, I got up to like 55,000 friends on there. And I thought I was so cool. I was a special celeb. I was a fucking bum. I was with my, I live with my mom. I worked at Kroger's. I was a bum. <laughs> so, this is one girl I know. I'm not gonna say her name, but it was an Asian girl I knew, right? And she had a sister I seen, quote unquote. Dude, the girls love calling me. Like, oh my god, you're my fucking sister. She's like, bitch, we're not gonna be friends in here. You know how women are. So, I see her sister. I'm like, damn, who's that? I'm asking questions because she looked good. So, I end up asking about her and all that. And I'm checking Facebook one day. I said, Facebook, man, fuck. I'm checking my space. And I look and I see. This kind of sus looking profile. I'm like, man, this person fake as shit. Because back during this time, during MySpace days, motherfuckers was really catfishing. That was the era of catfishing. So I end up ignoring it. Ignoring it for a couple days. I'm on vacation. I think uh, me, Skinny, my mom, and my dad, we went to, excuse me, I want to say it was Myrtle Beach, right? I'm pretty sure it was Myrtle Beach, if I remember correctly. And it was cold that day. And I had some boo ass shoes on. Them shoes, them shoes was trying. I, I packed them in my suitcase like I was doing something good. Them shoes is garbage. I'm pretty sure they were some felines or something. Garbage. So, I'm like, man, who is this? She looks familiar. Grab my phone, I'm like. I look, I'm like, man, catfish. I was like, I don't know though. So I add her. And then next thing you know, I'm looking. I'm like. Hold the fuck up. Hey, girl's name. Is this your sister? She's like, yeah, that's her. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm plotting. I'm plotting already, right? So, I end up, I end up adding her. Do all that. I talk to her. And she's cool as shit. It ain't like she one word to me or anything. She actually talking to me, spitting game to me, like talking to me and all that. She's like, I'm staying, uh, I stay in on the West Coast. I ain't gonna say, I was gonna say where it was. She's like, I stay in the West Coast. I'm like, shit, you come to, you come to Virginia? She's like, yeah, I come and visit from time to time. I'm, I'm usually, you know, I, I visit my sister. I'm like, oh, worry. All right, tell you what, hit me up, you know, what you in VA. Now keep in mind, usually that shit's a fucking lie. When they be like, yeah. Yeah, I'm coming over there. Man, you ain't coming over there. How many niggas you know? How many of your friends be like, shit, I might pull up. And they never pull up, <laughs> all right? So this is what's running through my mind. So it's around, if I remember this correctly, I think I was in 10th grade, 10th or 11th grade. No, 10th going to 11th grade. And um, yeah, okay, ooh, damn, this gets dark. This is how my life gets fucked up. But um, so it's around 4th of July week, right? And I'm like, okay, I'm just chilling. I don't think I really had too many plans. So she's like, I'm in town. I'm like, yo, I'm having a shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what, bet? you in town, cool. So I made plans and, and, and keep in mind, you, you kids nowadays, y'all got a fucking, I sound like an old nigga. Y'all got a good, like then I had to come up with an excuse and then another excuse and try to get my cousin to drop me off somewhere. Y'all can just be like, shit, I'm over my friends. Boom, ended the message. My mom was strict on my ass. So, I'm talking to her. 
her the sister ends up going with her to the fair that's the only way she'd go out he was like 15 16 i think at the time so i sit there i'm like man ain't no way she can look that good like she did in them pictures and all that right so <laughs> i pull up with my cousin leafy baby if you know if you've seen my other uh in the other one of my uh, reaction videos he hadn't been in a little minute but i was with him my other cousin, she was in D Bang video. Um, and then I'm thinking my homie Nick. So I'm walking. They're like, oh, we're right here. They text me on my boo fast phone. And I look. And she's gorgeous as fuck. I'm, look, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, probably one of the baddest shorties I've ever messed with. So she was super bad. And I'm not exaggerating this. I promise you on everything. When I look, I was not expecting this at all. So I'm looking. I'm like, hi. You know what I'm saying? I, I went in the I went into cringe mode. I was cringing the fuck up. This is this is pre game pre like fucked up life Zay. So I'm sitting there talking to her. We walking around and all that. And I think she said something. But I still haven't had a, a I've had a no shit time. She did she said something stupid that I ain't agree with or something. I don't remember fully. I walked the fuck away, right? And then I went to go talk to my cousin and all them. And them niggas like, fuck is you doing here? She was like, nigga, you stupid. She looked good as hell. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> so I went back to talk, right? So the little sister, she ends up, I'm, you know what? I got bucked this far to the start. <sighs> Wash it down. <sighs> okay, so little sister, we trying to dip off, right? I'm over there behind her hugging her and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas lying. When you're 15, you think you just hugging. People just, oh, they're fucking hugging. How adorable. Real like the red rocket is in full effect. My dick is hard as hell. And niggas like, I don't want in there. Put me in there. So I end up dipping off. Because where we at, where our fair is at, it's like some forest area and all that, right? So we just walking around. And, and keep in mind, I had been talking to her through this whole time, right? So ended up going we're walking i'm like yo there's a building right there nobody be coming out of here so we, i'm you know what i'm saying i'm plotting i'm walking walk near another area too many people walking i'm like nah that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work at all see another area it's a big building i'm like hell yeah this will work so i get there and i'm not i'm not exaggerating this at all right like this is some wild shit now i'm really thinking about it in my head i didn't plan on how i was going to say this story so i sit there i'm like okay like i'm about to lose my virginity and you know in my mind i'm like fuck it oh my god i'm losing it because it's like bragging rights is like when you're young you're like yeah i lost my virginity at this age nowadays niggas be fucking 10 losing this shit at this time 15 was a good age so i'm sitting there back there start kissing all that i'm like hell yeah then i'm rubbing Get the fingers in there. Hear it. I'm like, and keep in mind, the only other vagina that I mm, was it? Yeah, I think. If I remember, maybe I don't know. Okay, there was well, the first vagina I've ever put my laid my fingers in. This shit smelled like fucking fish and goddamn dumpster bin. Like that little dumpster bin off of SpongeBob when he be going out there with the little stink lines. That's what it shit smelled like, yo garbage i was like yo what the fuck is this what it smells like i don't want any of this shit so but keep in mind she was cleaning all that so i'm getting how you getting it ready i think i'm doing a good job i'm like oh shit i'm about to i'm about to get it so i sit there she take her pants off she was already advanced to me like she she was like 15 bodies in right at the age of 15, it was a little sus, but at that time, Red Rocket wasn't here. And he's like, I don't give a fuck how many bodies she had. Put me in there, nigga. So, I go to put it in there. I'll try to let her ride it, because you know what I'm saying? I'm a rookie. I'm a rookie, no badges. Brown shirt, gray sweats. And um, I end up, I mean, I'm so excited. I'm like, shit. Oh, fuck. I got to put a condom on. Not this time. So, I got to put the condom on. What does the rocket do? He gets out of pocket. He goes. Shoes the fuck up on me. So I'm like, oh 
Oh shit. Fuck. And then I remember what my fucking one of my good friends, one of my best friends told me the day before. He's like, oh, you about to smash a girl? He's like, man. You gotta jack off the night before. It'll help you last longer. Dumbest shit I ever fucking heard in my life, all right? Because I've been jacking off a goddamn like two years before that. I'm watching all these bad bitch porn is terrible. I'm watching all these bad bitches. I'm sitting there jacking off some big gigantic titty bitches with a big wide ass. That's, she's bouncing her left cheek. The right one is soon following. It's going crazy. So I did that the night before. It might have been like at 3 a.m. All right, so it really wasn't that much gap of time. So it starts dying. And I'm sitting there tugging and tugging and tugging. I'm like, come on, don't do this. And what does he do? He did it. He, he was dying. So I'm struggling. And I'm trying to put him in there. It gets in there. She's holding it. Trying a little bit. Limp died. I'm like, oh, fuck. And to top it off, I'm a super rookie. I pulled up with a lifestyle car. You know what I'm saying? You pull up with a lifestyle card, no show you're taking it serious. So, I pull up with that. <laughs> Went trash, it's going terrible. All right, and, and this time, we also, this is the hood nigga era also. So I got a big ass motherfucking 3X, 4X t-shirt, right? I look like I'm wearing a dress because now my, my fucking pants are down and they not on. And I'm, she's trying to do that. And then next thing you know, what happens? Somebody walks past. Hey, y'all enjoying the fireworks? I'm like, I'm already like that because you know what I'm saying, my dick not working. But she's like, oh, I'm like scared, like covering up and all that. So I'm like, what the fuck is this place? So I sit there. I'm like, all right, this ain't gonna work. So we end up walking and I end up carrying, I, I was doing some white night shit. I carried her through like some big ass grass. and I wouldn't do that shit today. Get the fuck out of here. You got legs. You can walk, buddy. But I was, I don't know, I was trying to make it up because my dick wasn't working. You know what I'm saying? You just start coming up with bullshit when your dick is dead. I guess I didn't get proper rest. You just start coming up with bullshit. So, end up seeing the front of it. I'm like, this is a church. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought it was a fire station. And I was like, yo, this fire station is pretty close. It was a church. Well, I'm behind the church. So I'm like, all right, I, I am just really sinning. I felt so bad, all right? So on top of me not getting my dick hard, my fucking, I'm, I'm trying to have sex behind the church and I get someone run up on me. So it's three terrible things that are occurring. Three fucking bad things. All right, so we get back there, try to play it off, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what are y'all doing? My shit? I played that shit off to the fullest. I had to fake that one. So, fast forward. Fast forward to um, what I want to say. It was the next day. No, it was the next day. Because she was in, she went in town. She could only see me a couple times. So, fast forward to the next day. I'm uncomfortable as shit. My stamina, my teammate chemistry is down to zero. Garbage. I ain't got no badges. So, I'm Googling how to keep your dick hard. What a hope to keep your dick hard. I'm fucking look. It's like... Eat watermelon. It's like a Viagra. So I go buy some Viagra. I go buy some Viagra. I go buy some fucking watermelon, and I'm sitting there just crunching on that motherfucker, right? So she goes with her sis to uh, see. I think the love guru, right? And we end up staying. At, well, shit. First of all, the love guru was trash. All right. When I walked in, it was garbage as fuck. I'm like, yo, this, yo. Get this shit the fuck out of here. So we sitting there chilling in the seat and all that. I ate the watermelon, right? I know it sounds racist and shit. <laughs> but I ate the watermelon. And then next thing you know, the movie lights out. Now, younger me is like, you know, everyone's gone from a shitty movie. I can't wait to watch this. I've been finger I've been finger banging the fuck out of her in the movie theater. There was people behind me. We had the second to last row. I'm just going crazy so if them niggas look with a look they be like yo what the fuck man I'm a god dead. and I know I don't care I ain't even care if they see me I was just I was lit I'm just going crazy all you hear is <laughs> shit going crazy and I'm like alright okay you working today let's get it my boy 
I'm happy as shit. So I end up waiting till this afterwards, move up to the top, bro, right? Boom. Slip the condom. She come through. She riding it, not like facing me, but the other way. So she come down, sit down. I ain't never felt that feeling before. So as soon as she dropped that shit down, that shit was a uh, wet and moist fortitude. That shit said, Ugh. I was like, oh. And I made that sound. She was like, shh. I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? You first got your dick in some pussy. You like, what the fuck? Yo, have I been missing out on this? This is amazing. So she riding that shit. I'm like, okay, cool. Keep in mind, I have another lifestyle kind of one. Cause I'm stupid. So then next thing you know, this little kid and his fucking uh his, his grandfather, I guess they were coming there fucking having a little amazing little little time. They sitting there like, you know, we're gonna watch a movie. I'm mad as fuck. I'm like, what the fuck y'all niggas doing here? I'm trying to fuck. So they end up going to the road that we are on also. So I, like she hops off and I, we playing off and like. I still got a condom on my dick, and, and when I Willie is there, like, I'm good, dog. Get that watermelon. So, he, they end up sitting on the row, end up taking it off. She flings it. She Kobe's that bitch. Oh, splash. Nah, 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 that was curry. She curried that bitch up a couple rows. Like, she's like, I should throw it at them. I'm like, yeah, fuck them niggas. Fuck them, man. Fuck you and your grandpa, little nigga. Y'all need to watch this movie. So, we end up going to this weird forest area behind, um, <laughs> behind the, like, the movie. I don't know where we live at. We got trees and shit. So, this is a weird forest area. I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. I'm having shit. I'm like, all right, let's walk up this trail. Nobody here. It's like a little fence and then somebody's, uh, somebody's house. But they can't really see it, all right? So, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to fucking beat the brakes off that pussy, nigga. I've been practicing. I've been waiting for this day. So, I ended up, oh my, I was disgusting, we were weird. We ain't had no town, nothing, just straight laid on grass, right? Laid on grass, I'm hitting a missionary, I'm sitting there thinking I'm doing something. I ain't really feel nothing because I had a lifestyle con, right? She's looking up at me like, so, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, thought my mind was like, am I doing a good job? And I asked her, I was like, how you liking this? She's like, you know, I'm doing this more for you. Which, at that time, I was like, oh, like she cared about me. But looking back, that means, hey, like, nigga, you are really not doing anything for me right now. You're kind of fucking trash, you bum. I was, I was doing terrible. Like, <laughs> It was, it was trash, so I didn't even know it. I think I just did it a couple times and like she had to get back and it just was terrible, all right? It was fucking terrible. It was it was garbage as fuck. I, I, and it wasn't her, it was me. I was just a bum ass nigga. So that is the story of how I lost my virginity. Um, I do have another story. I wanna say shorty after that, it was, I was wildin' for that one. I might tell that one later. I might say that for later. I'm gonna tell y'all on that, but I, I have wild ass stories that I've done like throughout my life, man. So I, I won't say any names, but it's just some crazy shit that I've, I've done and I've got. So if y'all fuck with this, like it the fuck up. Let me know in the comment section below. Y'all be like, oh, man, you bum ass niggas say, yo, <laughs> I'm here, motherfuckers. But yeah, I fuck with y'all though, man. I felt like I dropped this story time for the for the hundred K special and all that. So yeah, man, keep on watching. I'm gonna keep reading your comments. I love all y'all that check this out. Make sure you subscribe. Till next time, peace.